Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my What Wax Worked. And I have quite a bit to go through here. I'll have to admit, it's not even all of it. <laughs> but I need to get through this portion um, that I've been warming for the past two to three weeks, I think it's been. So let's just start off. And we will do... Bye Bye Summer by Ava's Country Cupboard. I actually had this in my warmers this morning. I still have some of it in my warmers now. This is Crisp Autumn Air Warm Sunlight and Burning Leaves. This is a very strong, intense scent. Um, it's smoky. It's kind of like... It's smoky. It's kind of crisp. It's like kind of spicy. I really don't know how to explain it except that it does smell like leaves burning, but in like a really good way. Um, very, very strong scent. Um, I only used two shapes in like four or five different warmers, and it was too much. So I had to um, swap part of it out with something that's like a little bit more bakery. But very good if you're into that type of scent. We have Hey Shug from Savannah Blue Cotton Candy and Cotton Sheets um, on cold. This is so, so good. Oh, it's incredible. I think it needs more time to cure, though, because this is melt after August 22nd, but I did not get to throw in my bedroom um, for whatever reason, so I'll have to try it again. It smells really, really nice, though. Pom-poms and mittens from Empire Alchemy, vanilla and brat, wild Madagascar vanilla, and lavender alibinum, and this one was like a very strong, clean lavender. You would think with all the amber and stuff in there, it'd be much warmer, but it's, it's not, it's like this very like fresh lavender. I don't, it's not like a clean lavender. I'm not sure how else to describe it, but it's really nice, especially in the bedroom. We have Sassy Wax Melts in Fruit Fiend, and this is Raspberry Sweet Mint, Black Raspberry Vanilla, Peaches and Mint. This was incredible. This threw amazingly. I thought it was going to be like this really, really minty scent, but it turned out to be this like really fresh, minty, fruity scent. The combination of all three of these was so good. I absolutely loved it. It was incredible. The peaches, I think, was probably one of the strongest notes in there, but it was so, so yummy. Okay, next we have Exploding Pumpkins from Empire Alchemy. This is Blueberry Cobbler, Cranberry Muffins, Vanilla Chai, and Toasted Pumpkin Crunch. Um, I didn't really get any cranberry or maybe like a little bit of blueberry. It mostly smelled like a slightly sweet cinnamon bakery scent, but the throw on this was not great. Um, I don't know why I had it in like all my warmers out in the living room and by the front door and in the kitchen and I just didn't get a throw from it, but which is weird. Like that one, which is when I bought like this, like around the same time that went through amazingly. So I don't really know. We have the Melting Co. Um, this is Ghostbuster Mac Apple Marshmallow Cider Lane. This was so strong. This was incredibly strong, super sweet. It threw like crazy. I could smell it outside. So that's my. This is my first experience with the Melting Co. And her stuff is phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. I can't wait to pull more for um, my next melting basket. This is Empire Alchemy's Magnolia Blossom Linen, and this is their Scoopable Wax. This is incredible. I have no idea what this is, but it reminds me of like junior high or high school. It like it specifically reminds me of when I was dating somebody. I say dating in junior high, but you know, like I had a boyfriend. Unfortunately, he's passed now, but um. His birthday was actually just the other day. Um, anyways, sidetracked. But this reminds me of that time, so it's like very nostalgic to me. And that, I don't know, I hold that scent near and dear to my heart now. <laughs> um, this one is in Salted Rose from The Bathing Garden. I used one cube in my bathroom warmer. This is a really nice rose scent. It's not like overly like fresh. Rose, um, I don't know how else to describe it. If you like rose, though, you would definitely like this. It's really, really good. It's sweet, too, even though it says it's salted. 
Um, this is a custom that I had in the bathroom also that I made with um, that smoke shop in Jerry. This is Aqua de Gio Clean Cotton and Spearmint. I know that sounds like a really weird blend, and it kind of is. <laughs> when I made this blend, I didn't know what clean cotton smelled like. I thought it would be more like uh, a typical laundry scent, and to me, clean cotton is much more of like a fruity scent, so I don't think it went super well with the Aqua de Gio and Spearmint. Um, next time, I might change... Um, the spearmint to peppermint. The reason I chose, okay, so this is Jerry. I named him um, Jerry because of Seinfeld. I made like a whole um, customs of um, That Smell Good Shops. I did Jerry, I did George, I did um, Newman, I did Kramer, and I did, um, um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking her name? It'll come to me, it'll come to me. It has to come to me. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I made one for each character on the show. Um, and I thought this one was like, okay, this is Jerry Aqua de Gio. Because, like, he's a very, like, masculine, like, typical masculine man. So I went with a, a cologne. And then clean cotton because he's always wearing, like, very, like, crisp button-up shirts. Um, and he always goes to, um, not the laundromat. But he always goes to get, like, his shirts, like, pressed and stuff. And then I feel like he's always chewing gum on the show. So I chose Spearmint. Um, it smells good. It's, like, not bad at all. It's just I think I would have done things, like, a little bit differently. Like, I would have chose, like, either a... I would have chose a different laundry scent. But it is good, and it does throw super, super well. And it's a nice, nice one for the bathroom. I would like to put it in the bedroom at some point, though. Okay. Um, espresso yourself from Super Tarts. Whipped espresso cream soda. I loved this. I used four cubes. And this is incredible. This is one of my favorite um, coffee scents that I've tried. Um, besides, you know, I love my Empire Alchemy coffee scents. This one's incredibly good. So I would definitely pick this up again. It was like a medium throw. And it was like this like beautiful soft coffee scent. It was so good and sweet and absolutely delicious. This is um, a clamshell that I got from my friend Angie, and this is in Island Coconut Creamsicle. Um, the notes on this are coconut and orange, vanilla, sugar, fresh cream, peach, and fig. This is a really, really good coconut scent, and it throws incredibly strong. So, that one was really good. Um, something else I used in the bathroom was Rose Girls Romance, um, the Ralph Lauren type, the perfume. Yeah, this is good. Um, I need to try this like more in like a bigger open space to get a better read on it. I've used this a few times though, and it very lightly scents the bathroom, so I think it needs a hotter warmer. This one is an absolute no for me. I tried it again because I was like, well, maybe I just didn't like know what I liked, you know. Like I was still like forming opinions when I bought this. This is Christmas Cookies from Up North Creations, and it's supposed to be a wonderful blend of butter, cinnamon, and sugar. I don't know what this is. Um, there have been a couple cinnamon, sugar, vanilla cookie scents that have kind of, like, adapted this weird fragrance, just like this one. I don't know if it's, like, kind of smells like clove. I don't know what it is. I do not enjoy this scent at all, and I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but... I'm going to pass this on to my mom because she likes bakery scents and maybe she'll like this. And I usually really love cinnamon sugar scents, but this was just, this was just not doing it for me. I don't know. I don't know why. Push him back a little bit. Okay. I'm still trying to think of um, her name on Seinfeld. Um, Elaine. Sorry, I had to think of it. I was It was going to drive me nuts the rest of the video. Um, next we have Nocturne Alley from L Three Waxy Wonders. This is Marshmallow, Fireside, and Rain. And the rain is like kind of... No, it is. It's not kind of. It is a floral rain aquatic note. This is good. Um, I actually didn't realize that I already had this in my stash from like last year in like a small shape. Um, so I'm not going to purchase this again. I thought I would like it more than I did. It was good, and it threw pretty well. It was like a medium to medium high throw. More on the medium side, though. It was nice, but um, it didn't translate the way that I thought it was going to. But I do think it was a nice scent. I really do like Marshmallow Fireside. Okay, let me just adjust. Okay. 
I apologize. That is the second time I've had to stop the video, so I'm going to have to piece these things together. <laughs> Next, we have Birdie's Making Sense Puppy Love. This was Count Chocula Salted Caramel. This one threw okay. It was like a medium to soft throw, but it smelled really good. It just kind of gave like a really nice, like, sweet, kind of chocolatey, like, goodness to the air. Um, I might blend the rest of this with something else, but the shape was adorable. I actually felt incredibly bad cutting it and his head is left I don't know why I just it kind of took a toll on me cutting that puppy we have October 3rd from to the moon and back creations apples berries and cinnamon this was a medium throw in my um, bedroom oh this smells so good I like this blend this is this is really good I think I like the addition of the berries and the cinnamon is like sweet I like this. The apple isn't overpowering, but that was a really, really good blend. I liked that one. Homespun Sugar from Up North Creations. I put this in my bathroom, but I don't think that warmer is hot enough because the couple times, that, or a few times that I melted it, I couldn't smell anything. Given it is a pretty light scent, and I originally bought it to mix with stuff. So, there's that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was incredible from Soul's Inspiration. This is Buttercream Dream, Vanilla Buttercream, Toasted Coconut, and Cinnamon Buns. If you want an icing scent, this one is so good. It literally smells like I'm sniffing a can of frosting right now. And there's cinnamon in there and shredded toasted coconut. Oh my gosh, it is incredible. I know a lot of you would love that one. Buttercream Dream. Highly recommend, and it was so strong. Okay, we have L3 Waxy Wonder Scoopable and Cake Batter Whole Vanilla Beans and Sweet Cream. Yeah, this is a really, really good basic vanilla scent. I love it. I think I've fallen in love with her whole vanilla beans. So I'm going to think about that um, and what I could add to it for my customs when it's my turn. Um, this one is so good. Um, waffle cone sugared shortbread. I love this scent. I'm so happy that I got another loaf of it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's just, you have to just like vanilla scents. It's like so comforting and relaxing. I just love scents like that. It's delicious. I'm going to run out of room. We have Woofwick's Pumpkin Donut Shop. Baked spicy pumpkin and cinnamon sugar donuts. This is a really nice scent. The throw was like a medium to soft throw. This go around. But it was really nice, and it actually didn't smell super spicy to me. I would repurchase this one. This one's really good. This is their Crumble Cups. This scent is very strong from Up North Creations. This is her Crushed Ginger. I don't know if she ever ended up putting this into her regular line of scents, because when I purchased this, it was a test scent. But this is a very, very strong, straight-up ginger scent. Like, if you like ginger, this is it. This smells exactly like ginger. Like when you're out to dinner, like at a, a Japanese or sushi restaurant or something. Okay, this, this one was a no for me. Because this one smells similar to that Christmas cookie scent. I don't know what it is. I bought this one thinking that it was going to be a dupe for the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla Candle from Bath & Body Works. But that was not what it is. Um, this is from Wicked Essence. I love Wicked Essence. Everything throws super, super well from her, um, from that vendor. But this is just not for me. I don't know. This doesn't smell like cinnamon spice vanilla to me. It's just, it has this, like, different note to it that I'm just not vibing with. So, that's not a repurchase. Um, also a not a repurchase for me is L3 Waxy Wonders Encourage Mint. This is Eucalyptus, Spearmint, and Apple. It wasn't terrible. It was incredibly strong. I don't think I like these three scents together. It, it doesn't work for me. So, mm -mm. nope, that's going to go to somebody else. Um, we have Rose Girl's Very Lovely Birthday Cake. This was nice. It wasn't anything I would repurchase. It took me a really long time to melt that. It's a very synthetic berry scent. Like I said, it was it was okay. It just, like, nothing, nothing that I, like, really love. Um, I don't remember this scent. 
I don't think it threw super strongly. I think I put it in a tea light warmer, just one cube. This is Best Berry from Scentsy. I got this from my friend um, Jennifer. It smells really good. It's kind of like this like perfumey berry scent though. So I think next time I'm gonna melt that in the bedroom. It's gonna give it a better, better shot. Um, we have this one from To The Moon Back Creations in OK. OK, it's tobacco leaf, caramelized vanilla, wooden bookshelves, old books, and magazines. This was definitely like a nice tobacco scent, especially for the bedroom. And there was like this bakery kind of note to it, which I guess is probably the caramelized vanilla. But I think mixing with the wooden bookshelves. Oh, yeah, that one was nice. I probably would repurchase that. Um, we have pumpkin carvings from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is a really nice raw, like fleshy pumpkin scent. It's kind of fruity, and I feel like there's a hint of pear in the pumpkin carvings. That's kind of like the vibe I get from it. I really like it. I would repurchase it, but I still have some trick tarts. This is um, the blend that I had come up with. I named it Get Toasted, um, and I entered it into the L3 Waxy Wonders um not competition, contest. And this is S'mores, Espresso, and Bonfire Bliss. I think I bought a, um, I bought one of her Bitty Betty Loaves in this too. I think this was good. Um, yeah, I do like this. I'm gonna try it one more time with the Bitty Betty Loaf that I got um, to decide whether or not I actually want to get it in um, my customs when it's my turn, which it's gonna be a while until it's my turn. Um, it's like, it's the Bonfire Bliss, which I don't think I've had before, is like this really different smoky scent. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, the espresso isn't super strong, so I'm going to wait for it to cure a little bit longer and then try it again. Um, but I think it was really good. It was like a very sweet kind of like smoky scent. The espresso, I think, was just in the background, so... I did enjoy it and it did throw really well. We have one of my favorites, Hearthside Coffee from Empire Alchemy, gingerbread, cake, caramel, vanilla latte, vanilla crumb donut, and a hint of hot cocoa. The gingerbread isn't super spicy. This is just such a decadent, like, really, like, I don't know, um, diverse coffee scent. But the coffee isn't super strong in this one because it's the caramel vanilla latte. It's really good. I love it. Highly recommend it. French Vanilla from Up North Creations. This is rich, sweet, delicious vanilla. All the creaminess of eggnog without the spices. Definitely it is that for sure if you're looking for a scent like that. I put this in my bedroom and I don't know. I was not vibing with it. I'm definitely going to have to melt this with something else. Like blend it. And I had originally bought it for the blending purposes of mixing it with her root beer float, which I had done before and was good, but I don't enjoy it by itself, which is weird because I love vanilla scents, but that one was just not working for me, at least that day. This is an incredibly strong scent from L3 Waxy Wonders, Lemon Curd Snuggle Downy April Fresh. Um, yeah, it was good. Very, very strong lemon scent. Um, lemon clean scent. I think the snug, I don't know, Snuggle Downy, April Fresh. I'm not sure which which one was the strongest, but if you want a clean laundry scent, that's that's your that's your girl. We have L3 Waxy Wonders Scoopable in Orange Blossom, Coconut Lime, Verbena, and Guava. This was good, but the Orange Blossom is not. It's not true Orange Blossom. This smells like artificial orange, like citrus, whereas Orange Blossom's a, fl a floral note. So. It did not um, translate the way I thought it was going to. It was good, but yeah. Um, I'll try and use the rest of it because it was nice, but yeah, nothing to write home about. Um, we have L3 Waxy Wonders Amish Quilt Apple Pie Don't Crush Streams. And Don't Crush Streams is adipose, vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, and vanilla ice cream. This is L3 Scoopable, if I hadn't already said that. This is... This is a pretty good scent. Um, this smells like baked apple pie filling for sure. And there's definitely those apple pie spices in there. Um, this is a really nice one. I think the Amish quilt also adds to that kind of like decadence of that scent. Um, 
Not sure if it's a repurchase for me, but it was nice. Coffee Bean Whipped Cream from L3. Um, this one was good. I probably would do it next time with espresso whipped cream because her espresso is more my jam, but this one was really good. I, I would repurchase it if I saw it again. Also, her buns are my favorite. Like, I get so many melts out of her buns um, versus her puppy packs, which I think are either the same price or more expensive. Oh, bye. <laughs> Okay, you're back. All right, next we have Rose Girls Peppermint Meringue Cotton Candy Frosting in their Mini Melters. And this one was good, but did not last incredibly long. Maybe five hours. This smells so good, though. And because I like this scent so much, I would repurchase it. Because I tend to change my wax often. I try to wait till it's like, um, oh, somebody's blowing outside. I try to wait till the set has dissipated for the most part. You guys, I think I hit the button when you guys were falling. I don't know where we left off. I'm just moving on to the next scent. I hope I didn't miss something. Um, falling for treats from To The Moon About Creations, Apple Cider Donut and Birthday Cake. Um, this scent is incredibly strong, very, very sweet. And the birthday cake was actually one of the top notes. It smells like that buttercream frosting that you get from the grocery store, like on top of like the cupcakes with those like circular sprinkles, sprinkles, excuse me. Um, it was really good if you like sweet scents like that. Um, to the moon and back creations in, I like the wine, not the label sparkling sangria with notes of wine, citrus and red currant. It's a nice fruity scent. I don't know if it's a repurchase for me specifically, it was really good though. I think the citrus was just like a hair too strong for me. If it was more like cranberry or more like berry, like more red wine, I think I would have um, enjoyed it a little bit more. Hopefully I don't have to piece together any more videos, you guys, because I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, the prom queen from To The Moon and Back. This is vanilla ice cream and sweet on Paris. I love sweet on Paris blends. Oh, that one's so good. Yeah, that one's super delicious. I definitely would repurchase that one. Um, we have Huckleberry Sugar Blossom from L3 Waxy Wonders. This one is actually not very strong, which was weird. Um, I thought it would be a repurchase for me when I bought it, but because I can't really smell it, I guess it won't be. Dutch Apple Pecan Ice Cream from Rose Girls. This is not a repurchase for me. It, it was good, but I think the pecan note in here... I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about this. I guess maybe it's like more artificial than I would like. Um, so not a repurchase for me, but I will enjoy the rest of that. I might mix it with something else also. We'll see. We have a Lured Apothecary in Cotton Candy Stand. Cotton Candy, Cotton Candy Frosting. You guys, this is one of the most oh, incredible cotton candy scents. This smells so good. This reminds me of Body Fantasies perfume or body spray or whatever what is. Oh, but 10 times better. And it throws so incredibly strong. It was amazing. Always a repurchase for me. I still have some... Um, Snap bars of it though. We have Annabelle from Super Tarts. This is brown sugar pecan pie blackberry marshmallow fluff. This was a surprise for me. I actually really enjoyed this. It was super good. Um, after about four or five hours though, it kind of like changed scent, but the first few hours were incredible. So because of that, I probably would repurchase it. Um. Let's see, brown sugar, banana brown sugar kolaches from LV Waxy Wonders in a scoopable, freshly sliced banana, sweet brown sugar, flaky, buttery pastries. Got this last year and I fell in love with it. And then I just forgot to take it back out. This is one of the best banana scents that I've ever, ever smelled. It's so good. Get your hands on it if you like banana scents. It's incredible. Um, I requested it and she did pour it in one of her last restocks. So I don't know if she has any more, but it's, it's super yummy. 
Slytherin from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Clean Steel Peppermint and Pheromones. This is good. I don't know what pheromones are supposed to smell like. I mean, I know like you don't smell pheromones, like it's like unconscious, but this smells good. I think I would pick it up again because it has a very clean, not laundry clean, like a very crisp metallic peppermint scent, which I which I do enjoy. So that one is good and definitely something in the bedroom that I like. Okay. Lemongrass Cotton Candy Salty Sea Air by F3 Waxy Wonders. This is a blend that I had requested. Um, this is so good. This is my last bag of it. Um, I love this so much. I just think that the, the, I don't know, is astringentness a word? Probably not. The lemongrass, how it's like very crisp and intense, cut with the cotton candy with the sweetness and then adding the salty note from the salty sea air. It's just like very well balanced and I absolutely love it. Next time I would request the lemongrass to be a little bit stronger, but it, I really did enjoy it. I'm going to have to clear some of this off so I can keep going. Or hopefully you guys don't mind the chaos of what my table looks like. And yeah. Um, another scent creation that I requested L3 to make back in the springtime, I think it was, a Fluffy Towels Cotton Candy Gummy Bears. Um, this is good, but it wasn't super strong. So not a repurchase for me. Um, if I did it next time, I'd probably do Fluffy Towels Cotton Candy and like not Gummy Bears. Maybe something else that's like a candy or something like that. Um, but it was, it was good. Oh my gosh. This one was so strong for me in my bedroom. This is the pharmacist's daughter and this is princess Jasmine, Palo Santo, vanilla bean Noel and cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was so strong. So good. I love the Palo Santo with the cupcakes at Tiffany's. Palo Santo is super strong in here, but it's like balanced with all that sweetness. Oh, so, so good. Loved it. Lighthouse from L3 Waxy Wonders, Sea Air, White Musk, Lavender, Cashmere, Amber, Tonka, Cedar, and Plum. Everybody goes gaga over this scent. It's okay. I wouldn't repurchase it again. It's kind of... Excuse me, ma'am. I apologize, guys. She's looking at something very intently. Um, not a repurchase for me. It wasn't super strong. It's like a nice bedroom set, and it kind of like lightly fragrances the air, but other than that, I wasn't like super impressed. We have Jade from Empire Alchemy. This is Water Kissed Fern, Citrus Rock Sugar, Green Florals, and Rosewood. This is such an interesting, sweet green fragrance. It smells like you cut open like an aloe vera plant or like some type of like sticky sweet green. Like when you snap like the um, stem of a flower or something like that. Oh, it's so good and so different and definitely a purchase for me, but I still have plenty in this bag, so I don't need to buy any more right now. I'm sorry, she's, she's just, we went to the park today, we went, what else did we do? We threw the ball, like we've done stuff, so I don't know what her problem is. Banana Pudding from L3 Waxy Wonders, this one did not throw very strong. Not that I guess banana pudding really would, but I'll probably mix this with something um, just to use it up. Not a repurchase for me, it's like a really nice like soft banana fragrance, like whipped cream banana. Imagine that. <laughs> we have um, another custom that I had come up with for L3. Coffee House, Palo Santo, Snickers, Latte, and Malo. I have another pack of Bunts, I think, in this. This is so good. It's sweet. It's, like, sugary. It's coffee. There's that creamy, like, Palo Santo note in there. I love this one. Yeah, that one's really good. Okay, we have zucchini bread, salted caramel, whipped cream from L3. Um, probably, it was good. Salted caramel was strong. So it is a little bit on like the cloying side. Um, but now that the weather's cooled down, I probably would enjoy it more. So I don't know if it'd be repurchased for me, only because zucchini bread's like not like on the top of my list to repurchase. Mm -hmm. Ray. That's enough. We have Sassy Wax Melts in Reindeer Games, Rice Krispie Treats, 
frosted toasted grams and cream cheese frosting. The cream cheese frosting was definitely very strong in this. I purchased this last, what's the date on here? Last November and still thrown like a champ. Um, definitely cream cheese frosting though. Um, very good. Not sure if it's a repurchase for me or not. I'll melt the rest of that and decide if she does um, put it back on her website for this year. Oh my gosh, I love this scent so much from Ava's Country Cupboard. This is Tiffany and the Grinch. This is buttery cupcakes, crushed mint, lemon peel, white chocolate, and cinnamon. I don't know how this concoction comes together so beautifully, but this is such an amazing, beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, how much time do I have? 30 seconds? Awesome. I'm going to have to piece together another part of the video because apparently that's what's what I got in my, um, should have checked my, um, storage. Okay, I will be right back. You won't even know. Okay, awesome. We've got some more space. Okay, we should be done relatively quickly. We have a loaf that I cut up from L3 in pumpkin pecan waffles, cake batter, sugar cookie dough. Incredible. So good. I absolutely love this scent. Oh, it would be repurchased for me, but I got plenty. It threw incredibly well, so loved that. Everything is like looking like a hot mess. Let's back it up here. Okay. We have pink sugar type from Soul's Inspiration. This is incredible. This is my favorite pink sugar oil from any vendor that I've tried. It throws so strongly and I love it. Definitely a repurchase for me. Um, next we have Jumping on Green Apple Clouds from Rose Girls. This was a nice, like, crisp green apple scent. There's definitely some sweetness in the background. I think, like, marshmallowy kind of. It doesn't smell super bakery to me, but this is nice. I probably would repurchase that one. I think I like green apple more than I like red apple. I don't dislike red apple at all or mac apple, but just my preference between the two if I had to pick. We have Vintage Chic Scents in Raspberry Jam. I was actually pretty surprised about this scent, how much I liked it. Um, it became like a very candied, raspberry, slightly perfumey scent. Not super edible. I really did like that one. So I was pleased with that. If you want a strong apple fall fragrance, this one. Autumn in Paris from Ava's Country Cupboard. Fried pastries, French baguette with hints of apple cider and caramel so strong so sweet so delicious absolutely a repurchase for me it's so good and this one's from last september so i need to use the rest of it that's why i pulled it originally i almost got there but i still have a few pieces left this is a really nice scent from teddy bees bunny trail and breaking dawn cedarwood moss pine cones orchid jasmine vanilla sugar crystals layered with tiff's favorite lavender cashmere cream and boardwalk marshmallow the cashmere cream was probably the strongest note that I got in here but it was also kind of fresh and outdoorsy it was really beautiful definitely a repurchase for me that one was really nice we have a custom that I made with the bunny scissors in dream and saltwater taffy I don't have the scent notes on this but dream is a lavender like marshmallow lavender maybe cotton candy blend and then saltwater taffy I would not have blended this with it if I understood what saltwater taffy was supposed to smell like. It smells very fruity and cherry. Not what I was going for. So, it's not bad. It's just not what I wanted. Espresso Sugar Cookie Royale from L3. I love this scent. It's super good. Highly recommend if you like coffee scents. It's so sweet. I love Sugar Cookie Royale. That's so delicious. I would buy loaves of that if I had room for it. Very good. We have Karen's Cafe from To the Moon and Back. Banana nut bread and a hint of caramel macchiato. This was not my favorite. It was good. Let me open it up and give it a smell again. The banana nut bread was a little bit, a little bit runty. So I don't know if it just like, I don't know. It was good, but probably not a repurchase for me. Um, caramel macchiato isn't my favorite type of um, coffee scent either, so that might just be the confusion for my brain. Okay, <clears throat> a few more. We have Nana Makes Sense in a custom that I made. Apple butter pie, sugar cookie, and strudel and spice. This one was very good. It had about a medium throw, and I really enjoyed it. 
yeah, it was really good. I mean, it's not like anything like, you know, super groundbreaking, but it was, it was yummy. Spearmint candy from That Smell Good Shop. Oh, incredible. Super strong. You have to like spearmint. I love it. Definitely a repurchase for me. Ebony Violet Eat the Cake Anime. Vanilla Ice Cream Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Espresso Beans. I didn't get a ton of espresso because this was an overwhelmingly super, super sweet fragrance. Um, I, I did enjoy it, though. It was really nice on the cold day. Daydreaming from L3 Waxy Wonders. Sweet Lavender Peach Cobbler and Cotton Candy. I would not repurchase this. This did not smell like it had any peach cobbler in it. And I just did not like the way the, the lavender came off in this. I don't know why it doesn't smell like sweet lavender. It smells like herbal lavender, but I don't know. Just not, not something I enjoyed, so I don't know how I'm going to use the rest of that. This is something I got from my friend um, K. Marie Plans, or Krista. The Pharmacist's Daughter, Pink Clouds. Pink Sugar, Vanilla Bean Noel, and White Clouds. This one was really nice. It was about a medium throw. Oh, I really liked it. The only thing I didn't like about it was the way that it tapered off in the scent. I didn't like that, but um, for the hours that it stayed true to the scent, it was really, really nice. So I'll be happy to use the rest of that. Um, a scent that I fell in love with is going to be, let me just fix the bag here because it's got all smashed. Um, Southbound's Strawberry Jam Cinnamon Donuts Peanut Butter Cookies. Strawberry Jam, Sugared Cinnamon Donuts, and Warm Peanut Butter Cookies. This was incredible. Apparently, this is a limited edition blend from Southbound Candle Co., but incredible. Highly recommend. It was so strong. It lasted forever, and I just loved, I think they added cinnamon sugar donuts in there. That was so good. Um, at first, I wasn't sure if that would be a scent that I would enjoy, but I really, really liked it. So I'm sad that I only have you know, half a bag left. I think there's a kid crying outside, so Raven's like, what is going on? Okay, your screen is filling up here, which means it's almost time to go. We have Sassy Wax Melts in um, Warmest Wishes, Buttercream Crunch Cake, Peppermint Swirl Cake, Cake batter ice cream. This one was so good. I highly recommend it if you like um, peppermint scents. It was incredible. Um, let me actually move this guy. I'm sure some of you guys didn't like it being so close to the wax. Okay. Next we have Lured Apothecary's Papa's Office Smoked Vanilla Amber and Sandalwood. This is an incredible bedroom scent. I loved it. It was very strong. Medium to high throw. It's sweet. It's tobacco-y. It's... Did I say tobacco-y? I don't know why I said that. It kind of smells like tobacco. Anyways, must be the amber, like the resinous amber in there. It's really, really lovely. I had um, Ava's Country Cupboard Cocoa Mango Sorbet in the bathroom. This one was good. Not a repurchase for me. Just didn't knock my socks off, but it is a good summer scent. Okay. Vanilla Cotton Lavender Vanilla. This one was good. I liked this. I enjoyed it. But I like the blend Liana's Lullaby, um, Liana's Lullaby Water Lily Vanilla Lace more. So this is good. Just um, if I had to choose between the two, I'd, I'd prefer the other one. But this one's good. So I will use the rest of that. And it threw super well in my bedroom. Raven, they don't want to hear you anymore. They don't. I promise. Okay. We have just a couple more. And they're not super phenomenal. Let's see. Sweet Pea from Up North Creations. I did like this scent. I love Sweet Pea. So this would be a repurchase for me, actually. Delicate scent of Sweet Pea flowers. Um, nothing like groundbreaking, but I love I loved that scent, actually. This is the only one... This one's in Apricot Dreams from Tea Time Tarts. Sunkissed Apricot, Crisp Apple, Pomelo, and Lavender Blooms. I think I need to try this in the living room because I just wasn't like... I don't know. It's okay. It's good. It's like a fresh kind of like springtime scent though. So not sure if it's a repurchase for me, but I have more from Tea Time Tarts to actually try. So yeah. All right, guys. I am so sorry about Raven. Oh, one more thing. 
I finished this candle. I put this in the Candlecraft Blueberry Pie from White Barn or Bath and Body Works. Scent notes on this were Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crushed Sugar Crystals. Um, it was really good. Um, not a good purchase for me. I think I have one more of these candles. I prefer blueberry maple pancakes over blueberry pie, but yeah, this candle's a freaking mess, as you can see. I had originally put this under the candle lamp last year, and then I stopped using the candle lamp because it's just not my preference. I love my candle crock a lot more, so able to get all the fragrance out of that candle. And yeah, that's it, guys. I'm sorry if I started talking really fast. I'm sorry my table is like overloaded with wax melts but I wanted to show everything to you guys that I have been melting for the past few weeks and yeah so I'm gonna piece all these videos together it's gonna take me a minute I think and I hope you guys have a beautiful start to your week we will talk again soon all right bye